Ever wondered what it's like to walk the streets of Rome? Imagine stepping into a time machine, one that takes you back thousands of years, to a city that was once the heart of an empire. Welcome to Rome, a city where every cobblestone, every archway, every fountain has a story to tell. Founded more than two and a half thousand years ago, Rome is a living museum, a testament to a past that shaped our world. It's a city that's steeped in history and culture, where ancient ruins meet Renaissance art and modern life in a unique blend. Each year, millions of travelers from around the globe flock to Rome to experience this blend of history, art, and culture. Whether it's the awe-inspiring Colosseum, the Vatican's sacred walls, or the simple pleasure of a gelato on a hot summer day, Rome has something to offer everyone. So buckle up, and let's embark on a journey to uncover the secrets of this ancient city. Imagine stepping into a place where gladiators once fought for their lives. Picture the roar of the crowd, the anticipation in the air and the courageous spirit of those who stepped into the arena. Welcome to the Colosseum, a symbol of Rome's grand past and a testament to its architectural prowess. Nestled in the heart of Rome, the Colosseum or the Flavian Amphitheater as it was once known, is an iconic symbol of the Eternal City. Constructed over 2,000 years ago, this amphitheater is the largest of its kind and has played host to a myriad of events. From gladiatorial contests, public spectacles and dramatic plays, to mock sea battles, animal hunts and even executions, the Colosseum has seen it all. The Colosseum's architecture is a marvel in itself. Its elliptical structure, made up of concrete and sand, stands four stories high. The exterior, adorned with Doric, Ionic and Corinthian columns, gives us a glimpse into the architectural styles of ancient Rome. The interior, once capable of seating 50,000 spectators, was ingeniously designed with a series of tunnels and passages, allowing for efficient crowd control and quick, dramatic entrances during the spectacles. But the Colosseum is not just a symbol of Rome's architectural brilliance. It also serves as a stark reminder of the city's violent past. The gladiatorial contests and public spectacles were a means of propaganda by the Roman Empire, demonstrating their power and dominance. Yet, amidst the violence and spectacle, there were also moments of humanity and bravery, as gladiators fought valiantly, often against all odds. Today the Colosseum stands as a testament to Rome's rich history. It's a place where the past converges with the present, where the echoes of ancient spectacles still resonate. As you wander through its arches and gaze upon the arena, you can't help but be in awe of Rome's grandeur. It's a reminder of a civilization that once was, and the enduring power of human creativity and resilience. The Colosseum, a testament to Rome's rich history, leaves you in awe of the city's grandeur. It's a place where time stands still, where history unfolds, and where every stone tells a story. A visit to the Colosseum is a journey back in time, a journey into the heart of Rome itself. What if you could walk through the ruins of an ancient city center? Welcome to the Roman Forum, a sprawling labyrinth of ancient ruins that once formed the bustling heart of Rome. Nestled in the small valley between the Palatine and Capitoline Hills, the Roman Forum was the epicenter of Roman public life. This was where the hustle and bustle of ancient Rome took place. The marketplace thrived with traders, politicians held heated debates, and citizens gathered for public speeches and criminal trials. Imagine the grandeur of the Roman Empire embodied in the monumental arches and towering columns that still stand today, albeit worn by time. The Roman Forum was a display of architectural splendor, featuring basilicas, temples and public spaces adorned with statues and monuments. One can't help but marvel at the Forum's architectural gems like the Temple of Saturn, the oldest surviving monument in the Forum, built in the early 4th century BC. Or the Curia, the meeting place of the Roman Senate, where decisions that shaped the Roman Empire were made. Over centuries, the Roman Forum evolved, with each emperor leaving their mark. The Arch of Septimius Severus erected in the 3rd century AD commemorates the Roman victories over the Parthians. The Rostra, a large platform for public speeches, still echoes with the voices of the past. The Roman Forum didn't just witness the rise of the Roman Empire but also its fall. As the Empire declined, so did the Forum. It was abandoned, buried under layers of earth, only to be rediscovered in the 18th century. Today, these ruins offer a fascinating glimpse into Rome's past, its glory, and its eventual downfall. Walking through the Roman Forum is like stepping back in time. It's a journey through a chapter of history that shaped the world as we know it. 
Each stone, each ruin has a story to tell of emperors and gladiators of triumphs and tragedies. The Roman Forum, a silent witness to Rome's former glory captivates you with its timeless beauty. As we leave these ancient ruins behind we carry with us a piece of Rome's history etched in our memories forever. How about entering a city within a city, the Vatican City? Now isn't that a fascinating concept? This is the world's smallest independent nation-state, both by geographical area and population. Yes, you heard right. The Vatican City holds this unique distinction, being a walled enclave within the city of Rome. One of the Vatican City's most iconic structures is St. Peter's Basilica. This Italian Renaissance church, one of the holiest Catholic shrines, is a masterpiece of architectural finesse. It is regarded as the greatest building of its age. Interestingly, the Basilica is neither the mother church of the Catholic Church nor the Cathedral of the Diocese of Rome. However, it holds a unique position as one of the most beautiful buildings in the world and one of the most sacred places of Christendom. Now let's talk about an absolute must visit when you're in Vatican City, the Sistine Chapel. This chapel is not just a place of worship but also a treasure trove of priceless artworks. The frescoes that adorn the interior, most notably the ceiling and the Last Judgment by Michelangelo, are some of the most influential frescoes in the history of Western art. Another marvel within Vatican City is the Vatican Museums. They display works from the extensive collection of the Roman Catholic Church. You'll find an array of masterpieces of painting, sculpture and other works of art collected by the popes through the centuries. The museums are among the most visited art museums in the world. They not only house invaluable artworks, but also narrate the story of a bygone era. An era of grandeur, culture, and refined aesthetics. Vatican City, a treasure trove of art, culture, and history, leaves you spellbound with its magnificence. It's a place where every corner you turn, every stone you touch, and every painting you gaze at, echoes with stories of the past, reverberating with the timeless allure of history and art. Ever dreamed of indulging in authentic Italian cuisine in the heart of Rome? Well, prepare to have your taste buds tantalized by some of the most delectable dishes on the planet. Italian cuisine renowned for its simplicity yet profound flavors is a gastronomic adventure waiting to be savored. Here in Rome you're in the perfect place to experience the best of it. Let's start with the king of Italian cuisine, pasta. From the rich creamy carbonara to the tangy amatriciana, each pasta dish tells a unique story of Italy's culinary heritage. The secret to a perfect pasta dish? It's all in the sauce, which is traditionally slow cooked to perfection, allowing the flavors to fully develop. And then there's pizza, a global favorite that originated from the streets of Naples. In Rome you'll find pizza al taglio, rectangular pizza sold by weight, with a thicker, crispier crust. Toppings range from the classic margarita to the adventurous potato and rosemary, each bite a testament to the creativity of Italian chefs. But it's not all about pasta and pizza. Italian cuisine also boasts a variety of meat dishes, seafood, and of course the world-famous gelato. Creamy, smooth, and bursting with flavor, Italian gelato is a treat that no visitor to Rome should miss. And let's not forget tiramisu, a heavenly concoction of coffee-soaked ladyfingers, rich mascarpone cream, and a dusting of cocoa. It's the perfect way to end a meal or anytime you need a sweet pick-me-up. Dining in Rome is not just about the food but the experience itself. It's about leisurely meals shared with loved ones, the clink of wine glasses against the backdrop of a bustling piazza, and the warm, welcoming atmosphere of a family-run trattoria. The Italian cuisine, with its rich flavors and aromas, adds to the charm of your Roman adventure. So, loosen your belt and prepare for a culinary journey like no other. After all, as the Italians say, la vita è una combinazione di magia e pasta. Life is a combination of magic and pasta. So you see, Rome is not just a city, it's an experience. Our journey together has taken us through the Colosseum's grandeur, where gladiators once battled, and the Roman Forum's riveting tales of ancient politics and commerce. We've strolled through the Vatican City marveling at the Sistine Chapel's artistry and St. Peter's Basilica's magnificence, and who could forget the tantalizing taste of authentic Italian cuisine, from a hearty plate of carbonara to a creamy scoop of gelato. This is the essence of Rome, a city effortlessly blending its rich history and vibrant culture, Every corner holds a story, every meal a celebration, every moment an unforgettable experience. But remember, Rome wasn't explored in a day. There's so much more to uncover, so why not join us in our next adventure? Don't forget to subscribe to Deasoft World Tours for more breathtaking travel content. Let us be your guide to the world's most beautiful destinations. 
Hit the like button, share with your friends, and leave a comment to let us know where you'd like us to take you next.